In this video I want to show you how to set up Touch ID on your iPad 11 with the A16 chip. So the first thing we need to do is to go into the settings. So just find the settings icon, should look like this. And now on the left side, right over here, you're going to scroll down in this menu until you get to Touch ID and Passcode. Over here, you're going to tap on Add Fingerprint. It will tell you that the Touch ID sensor is located right over here where the power button is. So as they say over here, we need to place our finger. You can choose any finger, not necessarily this one, and place it on the top, on the power button. You don't have to press it down, just place it there. And you need to do this multiple times and try to scan the whole finger. So, you know, try to move it around so the whole thing gets registered. Uh, you may get this message, cover the top button completely because, yeah, as uh, I did over there, I didn't do it correctly. Cover it completely, take your time. All right, everywhere, just like that. You may have to do it around 12 times. You may get this message a few times during the whole process. Okay, capture all of your fingerprints. Keep going to capture the edges. So now what is time is to press continue and go with your edge, the edge of your finger. Same thing on the other side. Okay, until you get the complete message. Press continue. And now you have to enter the passcode of this iPad to register. Now this iPad didn't have any passcode. If you're in the same situation as me, you will have to input a password, you'll have to create one. So just for this video, I'll create one, two, three, four, five, six. Obviously, um, use something that is a bit harder to guess. They make you do this in case the Touch ID is not working properly. You'll have a backup to and access your iPad by uh, putting the passcode you just created. And now you have a few options. So how do you want to use Touch ID? Do you want to use it to unlock your iPad? If yes, keep it green like this. Do you want to pay for stuff, you know, with your Apple Wallet, Apple Pay, uh, every time you want to purchase something, you may have you will have to confirm by pressing the Touch ID button. And you also have if you want to use it in the app store to purchase app and also to password autofill it's simply when you go on a website and the password has been registered in the password app if you want to automatically write your username and password uh, password every time without typing you can use your fingerprint instead which is much more uh, practical the good news is also that you can register multiple fingertips okay not just one finger over here you can say add fingerprint and although they don't tell you over here uh, what this is very useful is let's say you want your husband or maybe your friend to also have access to your iPad using their fingerprint well you can tell them uh, to register their fingerprint instead of yours. This way you can have multiple people um, allowed to unlock uh, the iPad using their fingertip. So just click over here and do the same process I just showed you. Now in the future, if you don't like this feature, you simply have to go back here, select your finger and select delete fingerprint. It will be deleted and if you don't have any fingerprint register, well, Touch ID will not be active. So this is it. I hope my video was helpful. Please leave a like, subscribe, comment down below, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks.